y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan and today's video we're gonna go ahead and do our paycheck number one closeout or um, actual check-in for paycheck number one so I've got here the September monthly spread and I'm gonna go ahead and check off the bills that have already been paid and let's see what we're going to use today. I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. All right, so let me go ahead and pull out my paycheck to paycheck budget worksheet. Let's see. This is it. Okay. So this paycheck number one is from 9 6 through 9 19. You know, the internet has been paid. Now, the lawn service. We're having to make some changes. So the new guy said that he was gonna bill us and it has not been paid. He's supposed to charge the same amount as the last guy, but because I do not have the invoice, I'm not gonna check that off just yet. So I'd rather have it in my hand to say, okay, well, this is what is actually being charged. And we didn't get this cut that week, so it was actually delayed till this week. So, we still have not gotten the invoice. I'm just gonna wait on that. Uh, Tithes gave, YouTube's paid, Tithe again, electricity paid, car insurance, lawn service. This may fall into October as far as the second cut because the first cut was not done until this here week. So, by the time you see this video, um, we'll have only had a few days without actual first cut so there's some changes there but sometimes things just happen that way so we're going to go ahead and complete our paycheck number one budget check-in i've already did the plan which came from the original paycheck the paycheck budget we're going to go ahead and plug in the actual expenditures that we've had through the 19th for this paycheck number one. Now let's use another color, let's use purple. This is the Paper Mate Ink Joy um, Gel Pen 0.7 millimeter. If you're new to our channel, we actually do use the Every Dollar Budget app to track our expenditures. I do have a few receipts here for our groceries. All right, so for Hubby's income, we did receive 16, 18, and 18. And this account, we received 640. Now, if you're new to our channel, my husband and I, what we do is we allocate a portion of our paychecks to our joint household account, and we pay our bills out of our joint household account. Now, we do still have our personal accounts. He has his personal account, and I have mine. But as far as our household expenditures, we actually pay the actual bills from our household joint account. This has worked well for us. Um, you work on a job that allows you to split your, um, your paychecks into more than one account, then that is awesome because that's what we're doing. We put a portion of our paychecks direct deposited into this household account. And we've been doing this since July. Now prior to July, my husband paid the majority of the bills, and I talked about that in our um, previous videos of how and why we started our debt-free journey. And I'll link that above so that you can check it out. September is the third month. We've been doing this, and it's working really well. We tried it many, 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 many years ago um, where all monies was in one account, but we find that this method has worked well for us. So when I say household account, that's what that means. All right, so total here is $22.58. So that's what was received. We actually give 10% of our gross income. Now my income does not change because I'm on salary, but my husband, his income changes. He does get overtime and we just never know, you know how much it is until he gets paid, $5.59. Okay, which the total actual is 559. All right, and then our mortgage actual 468. That was paid. And Netflix, Netflix 1599. 
and our internet is paid. It's one thirty three twenty two. Now, lawn service, as I explained earlier, we've gone through some changes and we did not get that first cut until the second week of September. So, that has not been paid. The money is still there. I'm waiting on the invoice and I'd rather just be transparent and true and just say, hey, I'm not gonna say it's paid because I would like physically see the invoice to make sure that it's still gonna be $55. Now my husband did mention that there was some um, weeds growing along the fence line and he cleaned that up so I don't know if he's gonna charge us any extra. I don't know. So I'm just gonna leave that there as um, zero actual pay for now. Um, YouTube that has been paid. Electricity has been paid. Three fourteen eighty eight. The car insurance was three hundred nine eighty nine. And we have not gotten our gas out of the household joint account yet. We don't really go a lot of places. We go to work, we home, church. I mean, I go to the grocery store, run some errands. So I'm gonna put zero, because we have not gotten it. Uh, now groceries, I do have my receipts. And I wanted to tally this with you guys. And I shop at Publix. Like I said, if we had an Aldi here, I would love it, because I love watching Aldi hauls. But, hey, we don't have an Aldi. I do shop at Walmart sometimes, but I have found that Walmart is not always the cheapest place. So, I just shop pretty much Publix. I enjoy shopping Publix um, for the majority of my groceries, but I sometimes I will go to Walmart. Let's see. So, this receipt here from Publix, I have $158.57. $158.57. So, I went to Target looking for something else that they did not have, um, but they did have some mandarins. I looked at the ones at Publix, but I did not really like them. So I'm happy that I saw them at Target. They are really small, and that's the way I really do like them. And it's a three pound bag, and they were $5.99, which is the same price I would have paid at Publix for a three pound bag of mandarins or clementines. So I end up finding them here, and I'm happy I did. I packed my lunch. Monday through Friday and these clementines is a great snack for me even in the morning I'll drink my tea and I have some type of fruit for breakfast whether it's an apple or a clementine or either a um, fruit cup so I do pack my lunch and my breakfast so I have saved a whole lot of money by doing that Monday through Friday and I've been doing that for a few years now and I love it. So this is awesome. I'm, I'm very happy that I was able to find these. 158.57 for the first receipt. 6.23 at Target. 142.23. So so far we've spent 307.03 on groceries. Let's just hope we stay on par the second half that way we have more to put toward debt all right yes 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 I'm excited now we're down to the buffer nothing unexpected has happened so we have not spent our buffer 3703 is still there so I'm gonna put a zero there as well this is what we have so far before I do the budget check-in tallying down at the bottom we've got our 2258 income tied 559 total and then we have our expenditures in. We did not get the lawn service cut until the second week, so by the time you see this video, it will not be paid. The new lawn guy said he would invoice us, and we have yet to receive the invoice, so um, I'm just waiting on that, and hopefully I can update it by our monthly review time. Gas we have not used, that's zero, and then the buffer, like I said, there's nothing unexpected, so that's zero. And then the groceries is looking pretty good, so let's go ahead and total. We have 468 mortgage actually paid, $15.99, $133.22, $11.99, 
Expenses. All right, so now we'll go down here at the bottom and fill in this budget check-in section for the actual. So the income, which is the twenty-two fifty-eight, giving five fifty-nine, total expenses fifteen sixty-one. And we didn't have anything for savings or extra debt for this particular paycheck number one. So that's that. So now we're gonna go ahead and total our income minus our expenses to see what we have remaining, which will be basically rolling over, which we know we're rolling over um, the lawn service and the gas, because we did not we did not do anything with that yet. So 22.58 minus 559 for giving minus 1561 for expenses so we have a hundred and thirty eight dollars remaining that will continue to roll over into our paycheck number two and I will continue to update you guys about the lawn service and um, yeah I'm loving this worksheet that I created. It is keeping me on track. Mentally, it is making sense to me. But this made my budget check-in very easy, so I'm really loving this. Stay tuned for our paycheck number two um, video. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.